Hey guys, what's up, Sagittarius? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future. Um, real quick, I wanted to take a minute to tell you all who watch my channel regularly and who are subscribed. I thank you. So sorry for the delay. Beyond my being controlled. So I'm so happy to be back. Anyway, all right. So. Let's see what's coming up for you. Ooh, nice card. Let's see what's coming up for your immediate future in this situation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Any obstacles in your way and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind this is a general reading. So take what's yours, leave the rest behind. And if this does resonate with you, just resonate with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. And if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. Possibly some communication is coming at you. All right. All right, let's see what's coming up for you guys. We've had some nice cards during the shuffle, so... <clears throat> so you broke someone's heart possibly or they're just really missing you they could be at a distance from you page of pentacles sagittarius please immediate future thank you one card no one card one card so we're dealing with a Virgo whose heart got broke or vice versa. Thank you. All right, Sagittarius. So you have the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Show me this Page of Pentacles. This could have been an offer. Um, damn. Interesting card. I hate to take this many, but... <clears throat> you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Devil. It's like almost, um, and this may not be the case, but like an obsession. Somebody does not want to let go of something. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, right? That could be what it is. But it's almost like an obsessive energy that comes from it. Um... The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is like money, love, stability, house, home, family. So it could be, um, for some of you guys, a job offer. So make sure you're not missing that. Um, but for some of you, this is like an ex that does not want to let go is what it feels like. I don't know if they really are voicing this. Because normally, like this is holding back emotionally, right? But it also kind of feels like, it doesn't feel like that with this time. It feels like an attachment. Like somebody can't let go of something. It just feels like, I don't know, an obsessive energy maybe. Someone possibly needing control. But I do want to tell you, um, because we I'm only going to say this because we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, if there's like an offer here for some, a large, like sum of money or something like that, like a job offer, somebody definitely could be like not wanting to share that as well. But we're going to stick with the love here. Somebody can't let go of something. Show me this four of cups. The emperor could be an Aries. What up with the emperor? I'm trying to see which way this four of cups is going. Because normally it's somebody kind of, you know, um, it can be somebody like paying attention to other things, not seeing what's right there in front of their face. It can be kind of bored, fed up. But somebody is working on something. It could literally be a job here, right? Um, but it's it's more like this emperor is coming and he, he possibly thinks you're going to reject his offer here. There's a lot of happiness around this. And there's mutual love. Love is not the question in this. 
You have the two and the ten of cups. So there's a lot of love for what you're doing, whether that's work or money um, with this person. Something is moving forward here, right? This person could, um, you know, did kind of been holding back from you. This could be like an element of money hungry right now and somebody is very focused on their work. Show me the Seven of Wands for Sagittarius. Uh, too many. There's your energy, though. So let's see what's going on around you. Oof. Something stable looks like coming for you. I want one card, though. Show me the Seven of Wands. All right, the moon, Pisces, energy, and the page of wands, the world. Damn, a lot of big cards there. Give me one more card. So this outcome could be like kind of hidden from you right now. Because with the moon card here. Definitely Virgo energy that you could be dealing with one card. It's looking like there's communication, but um I'm trying to clarify that because we don't have a whole lot of there's the world and the moon. One card, please. <clears throat> Some of you guys could definitely be like growing a business right now, but we have so much love here. I feel like, you know, somebody around them, um, it could have to do with money between you guys. But I also strongly feel like somebody can't let go. The Empress, she could be dealing with a Taurus. Talking about this Empress. I'm trying to get some action out of these cards. There's a new cycle beginning, undoubtedly, because somebody can't let this go. But there could be a job offer here, you know, um, as well. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the King of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So it's like there's a new opportunity that's probably hidden from you right now. Um, because then the reason is because this person can't let go. So they're coming back. They want to move forward. There's like happiness on the horizon here. But you may not be able to see it. Some of you guys may be trying to start a family as well with the Empress there. And the Ace of Pentacles. More cancer energy with the chariot. But it's about moving forward. And it looks like it could move forward pretty um, pretty quickly here. But I think it's hidden from me right now. Somebody can't let go. For some of you, this, this definitely could be like completely work related, especially if you're trying to build a business or working on a project right now. That's really going to pay off and bring you a lot of success and a lot of happiness here. But you may not see this communication that's coming right now. Um, for some of you guys, make sure you're not missing it. Um, you know, some of you could be blocking it here. So make sure you're not doing that. But you have the Empress here, which is how you're coming out completely abundant here there's a new cycle a new opportunity that's waiting for you uh if you want it you know it's up to you and it could move forward quite quickly somebody could be traveling towards you but if this is job you know make sure you're not missing it because there is an opportunity oh the ace of cups flopped over i didn't even see that we have two aces here so it definitely could be love related because someone can't let go. Yeah, you've manifested this. Keep going with it. Pay attention. Keep your eyes open. Um, it's almost like possibly like an offer you can't refuse. You're incredibly abundant. 
around you, whatever you're doing. So don't get discouraged. It doesn't look like you are, though. It looks like it's more that person. But if it's work-related, you are, you know, taking the matters into your own hands. You're coming in as the emperor. But we have the emperor and the empress. So um, don't get discouraged. But I think this emperor is a little bit nervous about approaching this empress. He will, though. Or she. Just a dominant energy, you know. All right, Sag. So hope this helped. Hope this resonated for you. Hopefully, I didn't make it too confusing. It looks like love, but it could. We have so many pinnacles here. You know, there's definitely an opportunity for a pretty big windfall, it looks like. Like, um, a lot of, like, something you've been waiting for, working for, for a while to show up. It's here, so make sure you don't miss it. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.